Hey guys, uh, this is the part 2 for the blockchain development with TypeScript. So in this part, I'm going to work on the uh, blockchain file. So in this uh, blockchain TypeScript, we're going to add in two, uh, another two more features. This is a, a get next block. And then um, after you get the next block, um, I need to also get the previous block. So in the previous block, uh, we don't need anything. Uh, for the previous block, um, we just need to pass in um we need to pass we don't need to pass anything we um, will get back the block data block data okay so this is how it looks like and then um i'll explain a bit on the uh library that i'll be using so okay so i'll be installing the um js that shard two five six so this is a SHA-256 hashing algorithm. So how do you gonna use it? I'm gonna show it in the Node uh, repo. Right. So in the Node rep, uh, I, I just while waiting for installing, um, I'm just gonna use uh use it. Um, SHA-256 from uh. Okay, so you just need to get so let hash equal to sha two by six and pass in the block key. Okay, for some reason it's yelling at me. I'll resolve this later. Um, right, it seems everything seems okay. Okay, so just gonna create a new file. Um, in the src file, I create a types dot dot uh, what this type is going to do is that um all right so you see that this is a types file you save it uh what you're going to do is that uh you'll get in a string and you will return back a string all right um okay Right, so um, what we're gonna do with this hash? We're gonna return this hash. All right. So this is uh, how you generate a hash, um, and then we need to get the previous block and the next block. Get previous block and get next block. Get previous block. And then we get back the block data. Right, um, so we're gonna expect to return back the block data. So what we're gonna do is that we get the current blocks and then um get to pass in the block dot um which is this dot blocks. Okay. Get the length of it. So, uh, we assume that the genesis block is the block zero. So when there's the genesis block is the first block. Um, so with the length we need to minus one. Okay. So which means if I'm the fifth block, um, we're gonna get the array from four because in JavaScript, um, uh, array start from zero. Okay, and then uh, after we get the previous block, we need to get the next block. So by getting the next block, um, what I need to pass in is the transaction. Transactions, transaction data. Okay. So transaction data, we're gonna get a new block. And then we need to import the block. So in this block, um, in the block data, uh, 
what we need to do is that we need to import all these um, transaction that we have right now so the transaction um, because it's an S so we assume that transactions is in an array okay it's just gonna map it I'm gonna map as a T then we expect that each of the T is a transaction data okay what you're gonna do right now is that um, we're gonna add the block using the um, add transaction method in case you guys uh, forget what is add transaction um check out in here in this add transaction what you're gonna do is that the new transaction will be appended into the old transactions okay so it's just gonna take in the ot so we have done the mapping and then so we done this uh so we need to start from the uh, other thing that we need to do on so we need the index so index is quite easy so the block dot index actually is equal to this dot um the number of blocks in the blockchain so what you're gonna do right now is that you need to get um how many uh number of the blocks okay so in the blockchain we have a data called blocks and you store all the blocks so we just need to count so for example if it's a it's a genesis block the index starts from zero and the length is supposed to be uh zero sorry the length is one and then, then the index will be start from one is if it's a genesis block okay then we need to um get the previous block previous block equal to this dot get previous block okay then block dot previous hash equal to previous block dot hash okay then the current block hash uh, we're gonna generate the hash with passing in the current block current block okay and then we're gonna return the block Okay, so you see that this jar two five six. Okay, we're gonna let the hash equal to two five six. Uh, with block key. Uh, but this isn't the case for normally. Um, we need to improve this. So we need to state that um how our block codes looks like. So I'm just gonna make sure that the block always starts with. A certain stuff for example uh, my favorite number is 77 so I like my block start with like um, 7a7 so as long as the block starts with uh, 7a7 uh, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna get the using that hash uh, so uh, okay sorry this is supposed to be hash uh, to resolve this starts with uh, basically you need to add, add it in your typings uh, so in your in your ts config file what you're gonna do is that uh, you need to find a, a, a things called lib yep this is a one so what you're gonna use is that I'm gonna import the uh, sorry, es 2015 okay so once you added the ES2015, um, it's supposed to be working. Mm. TS config ES6. It was weird. I, I think it's supposed to be when you when you compile it. It's supposed to be not an issue. Okay, app.ts cannot find name of console. Uh, okay. Let's just leave it there first. Um, I'll resolve this issue later. So as you can see, um, the TSC has no issue with that. Um, but it's something weird here on the code. Uh, I need to change some setting in the uh, uh, VS code uh, but we just leave it there like this first um, so if 
if we get the uh, this is a mining part in case you guys wonder so how mining works is that uh, I'm gonna get a hash from SHA-256 and then we need to check whether the, my mining is start with 7A7 if it start with 7A7 uh, we just return the hash but it doesn't start with 7A7 um, we need to work on something uh, to make sure that um, how to say uh, to make sure that uh, it runs the hash again so this is how a mining works so what you're going to change in here is that the nonce the nonce you just need to add plus one so nonce is basically the counter to check if the uh, to change the uh, key okay so you're just going to hash it again then sha256 passing in the block dot oops block dot key and then uh, with this uh, you can just console log the hash in case you want to see what's inside and then um basically this is done uh i need to change it a bit in my code require i think there's some issue with the typescript using the external library I'm not sure whether this worked Uh, I'll resolve this uh, in later, but uh, this is supposed to be work. Um, so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna get in the transaction. Okay, then gonna create a new transaction. Transa transaction. So from me to you. I'm gonna give you a seven dollar. Uh, okay. So this is a transaction. So what you're gonna do with this transaction is that, uh, you're gonna add it into it. So the blockchain gonna get the next block with passing in the transaction. Currently, we only have one transaction. So, but we still need to put it into an array because you see, get next block. Um, it requires a transaction. They expect a transaction t in an array. So this is a strength of using TypeScript with uh for building all these apps. So you know that what types you are expecting to pass in. Okay. So once we get the uh next block, we're gonna add the uh block into the blockchain. So we're gonna add the block into the blockchain so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna create, uh, let it to be a new block new block okay so this is basically just more on, on showing you how this uh, how this works so what we're gonna do is just console.log all the BC okay so uh, what I'm gonna do right now is that uh, I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm doing so this is to create a genesis block then initialize the blockchain with um, genesis block then create a transaction transaction okay and then um then here's the mining part so what how mining works is that I pass in this transaction into the blockchain and then the um in the blockchain file um what you're gonna do in the blockchain is that you're gonna get the next block. So when you get the next block, you're gonna create a new block and then you're gonna pass in the transaction into the new new block and then you'll get the previous uh the previous hash and then the index of the block and then you're gonna generate a new hash to generate generate new hash will take some times and then you're gonna return that block and then the return block is saved in new b and then the 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 new block will be added into the blockchain and then uh you just can consult out and then to see how it works uh, i'll resolve the i'll resolve the issue later on and then i'll make a commit again um what you're gonna do right now is just tsc to build all the files um uh, all right um cannot find name of console um uh, this basically i think is some issue with node uh i'll, I'll resolve this later um uh, okay so what you're gonna do right now is that you're just gonna run not 
so we add. Right, you see that um, it's mining. It's trying to find a match. So the moment when it matches to 7A7, which is the um, the kind of hash that we agree upon, so start with 7A7, it generate the first block chain. So this is the Genesis block. And then this is the first block. You see that uh, this is a block one. So it block zero, and this is a block one. So we had created the blockchain, and then uh, we can check the uh, what's inside the second blockchain, which is a block one. Uh, what we're gonna do is that uh, dot blocks. Then we're gonna choose the second one. Then we're gonna see what's inside the transactions. Okay, just save, and then just gonna run TSC again. Then run the node app again. Uh, so this is basically what mining looks like, and then we can see that. Uh, the transaction is done from me to you with an amount of seven. All right, so this is uh, basically the mining part is done. Uh, in the next um part, uh, I'll I'll resolve the uh issue I'm having with the TypeScript. Uh, maybe I'll update the um TS config file. There's something that I need to change here by adding the node library, and then what I'm going to work on is that um uh, adding an API. Uh, before I adding an API, I need to make all, all this thing into a function. So it for the ease of understanding, like for example, adding the transactions, and then the mining. How you make it decentralized and all kinds of um things that related to blockchain. So that's all for me uh, for the video today. Thanks for watching.